Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord viewers once again. Welcome to this episode as we share the word of God with you. I believe that God is asking us to know that he matters in our lives. He matters in our work. He matters in everything that we do. My name is Reverend Elphas Bire from Sitom Eldoret. It's a joy to see you and connect with you this early morning. I want us to look at uh, why we should fight till the, the end. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Okay? Others look at this passage differently. God is inviting us that we persevere in the things of, uh, in his things to the end. There are many of us who do things partially. Just imagine that you woke up in the morning to go and clean maybe your body and you forget to clean your, your leg or your hand and many other things. You won't feel good. Everything needs to be done to the end. God has asked us to walk the journey of faith to the end. And he said those who do that will be saved. Not to, 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 to depict or mean that if you do not uh, 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 walk, then you are not fully saved. But God is inviting us to be able to look at perseverance as an attitude of our faith. Do you persevere when you wake up in the morning? Do you persevere when you are going through tribulations? Do you persevere when things are not going as you anticipate or you, you just say, God is asking us to persevere, fight Till the end. I've seen it in many obituaries that he has fought a good fight. He has kept the faith and he has been able to finish the race. You can't be accounted as a man that drained the race and kept the faith if you didn't run the full race. And this is normally occasioned by the fact that you lived out your life extraordinarily. God wants us as Christians to live extraordinary life, doing the extraordinary things in an ordinary way. I, as an ordinary person, can go before God and say, God, I'm looking into you that you may use me for the glory and honor of his name. And this will call for me to understand that I must fight to the end. Many of us are giving up easily. Uh, a small provocation, you throw out and throw tantrums and you give up. Many of us with a little delay, you'll be able to give up and say, I'm no longer in that company. I'm no longer in that field. I'm no longer on that for, for that assignment. God is asking us to persevere. And even in the marriages, there are people that are giving up. The divorce rate is high. The separation. Young people that have not even stayed together for more than 10 years, they are calling it quits very too soon. God is asking us, those who persevere will keep. I'm not trying to suggest to us that you stay in a marriage or a relationship that is full of fights and many other battling. What I'm trying to say is, are you able to persevere in the things of God? In the things of God, just like the things of life. Sometimes we have the depressions, the highs and lows, but God is inviting us to persevere. How do we persevere? We wait on him. How do we persevere? We pray. How do we persevere? We look at his word. And I encourage you, as you get to your work, do not go and call it quits until God says it is over. Do not go there and say it's enough until God says it's enough. Continue to trust him for another better condition. Continue to trust him for another promotion. Continue to trust him for another open door. He is a faithful God. He said those who run the rest and are able to persevere to the end, they will be saved. The reward is only if we run a full rest. So this Sunday, as you go to work, many of us, maybe you, you've gone to church and come back and you feel like you've not felt the impact, God is inviting you to look at his word and to walk with him and to trust him and run the full rest. Do not run a partial rest. You will be saved. You will overcome. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you. Help us to run a full race. Full race that is marked out for us, oh God. I thank you. I honor you. You are lifted up. You are magnified. May you be exalted. May you be praised, oh God, that in our coming in and going out, you help us, oh God. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. May you be lifted up, oh God. 
Show yourself great, great in our lives, great in our work, great in everything that we engage in, O oh God. Thank you for allowing us to listen to your word, and even as we get into the week, we ask you to bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldora TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldora. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldora. And our website is eldora.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.